Well defended by Cohen. Kelly from deep. He scores! Connor Kelly beats the bus. I got a question for you. Would you rather score the game-winning goal or have the game-winning assist? Are you asking them or are you asking me? I'm asking you. Asking me. Wait, you can talk? Yeah, I can talk now. I'm back. Whoa! I'm almost completely back to health. If anyone has to get your tonsils out, I feel bad for you. Because it really, it stinks. It's really tough. <laughs> I hated it. The question, goal or assist? To win the game? To win the game or just in general? What do you, what do you like better? Assists. Goal? I like assist. being the assist guy. But I mean, if the game's on the line and there's a lot of people there, you know, and like, I'd probably want to win the game-winning goal. So, what do you guys think? Would you rather score a goal or have an assist? And what about you? Strike me as a goals type of guy. Yeah, I like goals. I do like goals. Strike me as a goals guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like goals, but I'd like All it, right, man. I'd like it off an assist. So I'll pass you the ball, you score. That's happened before. It has. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the reason we're even talking about goals versus assists is because Connor Kelly had seven assists and three goals against Notre Dame. That's crazy. Ten points, nuts. So we had to break down what is it about Connor Kelly that makes him that good. And let's start with his assists. Mm. It's tough for me to say assists. Okay. Let's start with his assists. Ooh, assists is just a hard word it's to a say. a hard word to say. Let's start with his assists. His assists? Just, we're going to talk about his assists when he passes his, the ball. His assists. You get it. It's a tongue twister. So the first thing about Connor Kelly's passing is his vision. These defense cores so buttoned up. Nice move there. Bernhardt! He's able to scan the field, find his teammates, and pass with precision through the defense. He is rocketing the ball, like shooting it at his teammates, which is something that's really important in good passers. He also sometimes does it no look, which is like, you gotta have a lot of confidence in your stick to do that. I just love the vision, patience, and discipline, maturity, whatever you wanna call it. And the other thing that Connor Kelly can do with his assists is pass with pressure. So you'll see a lot of times he draws the slide, he's got multiple defensemen on him, and he's still able to get the pass off. DeMillo, he scores! That is a game changer as an offense, when your guy can not only draw the slide, but also get the pass off. Running away from his target, and he still has enough juice, still has enough accuracy to get it right there. Not only can Connor Kelly pass the ball, but he can score. He had a hat trick against Notre Dame, and all three goals were scored in different ways. Drifts back behind the net. Picked up there by the short stick D, and Kelly likes that matchup. Series is split, five apiece. Kelly with a rocket. Kelly from deep, he scores! Connor Kelly! He is super dynamic. He's kind of like the Steve Nash of lacrosse. Nash, oh, no. what a pass! That's why he's a two-time MVP. Quick side note, Paul Rabel did a podcast with Steve Nash. It was super insightful. We were there. Definitely listen, link in the description. And check out the video, it's on his YouTube channel. It's also linked right here. Back to Connor Kelly. So he had three different styles of goals. He scored from X with a shorty on him where he got five and five and turned and just ripped it. He just generates so much power off of his back leg. He scored another off this roll dodge and just blasted one into the corner. Kelly with a rocket from 15 yards. Which was like, that was sick. That was really like, sick. That was sick. That's like something I would try to do, but it would never land. Yeah. It would always be like six feet wide. And then he scored this one from deep at the buzzer. The range, it's out of the stick before the clock hits triple zero. That was like really deep. Did you mention that it was deep? It was deep, man. It was really deep. It was deep and at the buzzer. That's like super impressive. And the last thing that makes Connor Kelly so good are his teammates. When he draws the slide, there's always someone there that he can pass to and that he can count on. So that's guys like Jared Bernhardt. A feed inside and a slam dunk put away. A layup for Jared Bernhardt. Wis Wisnowskis? Wisnowskis? Mm, that doesn't sound right. Wisnowskis hums one to the top. Wisnowskis? Let's give him a nickname. Wisnowskis. Wiz no, kid. Wiz kid Wisnowskis. Yep, yep. The Wiz Kid. The Wiz Kid. So that's guys like Jared Bernhardt, the Wiz Kid, and Tim Rotans. Old Dodge, it's Rotans. He fires and scores. These guys are able to catch and finish when they get open because of the slide. And Connor Kelly is just like always gonna draw the slide. So that's what makes Connor Kelly and the Terps offense so good and dynamic. But the Terps defense is also unbelievable. Like check out Dan Morris in this game against Notre Dame. He had a ton of doorstop saves. Morris makes the chest stop and then he beats Win on the rebound. And that's definitely gonna be necessary in their game 
this weekend against Albany. It's really a tale of two Connors, right? You got Connor Kelly and you got Connor Fields from Albany. Two powerhouse players. Fields fakes the pass. Kelly, another good one. It's but only one of them can win this weekend. This is like a real matchup for the agents here. Tahoga, Connor Fields, Connor Kelly, and the Terps offense. So comment below and let us know who you think is gonna win this game. It's either gonna be the Terps or Albany. And give us a good reason. Tell us why you think Maryland's gonna win or why you think Albany's gonna win. And it could just be because like a turtle is a much cooler mascot than a Great Dane. Are you serious? I'm saying hypothetically. A great, a great Dane? Hypothetically. A Great Dane? I don't know, I'm saying who knows? Come on! Also, what are the chances we happen to be near a dog park and there's probably a Great Dane? Oh yeah. No, dogs. there's no Great no. Dane. No Danes, but yeah. a lot of dogs. So by this time next week, Colin will probably like have his voice back 100%. Yeah, I'd say I was like 70%. In honor of that, we want to do a QA. and a it's something we haven't done in a while. So in addition to letting us know if you think Maryland or Albany should win, Comment some questions below here. You can also put them on our Instagram or Twitter. Give us questions and we will answer them next week. So that's it this week for the Weekly Watch. If you haven't checked out the TLN Top 5 from this week, make sure to check it out. There's some great moments with Kyle Harrison and Miles Jones. Also, if you want to rep TLN and rock the merch, go check out the merch. Check out the merch. Merch link is in the description. Vote in the poll. Comment below who you think is going to win the game, Maryland or Albany. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. And Colin, that's it? Yeah, I'm saving my voice. Okay. For next week. And we'll see you next week. Peace.